Hello, my name is John Wright. I'm the Community Relations Director for Hardin County Schools and the District's Volunteer Coordinator. You know, we truly appreciate all of our volunteers, and without you, there is no way we can make the lifelong impact that we make on students. Children are extremely successful in life because of the mentorship and help that they receive from adults who guide them and counsel them in and out of the classroom. To ensure safety and stay within the guidelines of Kentucky law, we have policies and procedures in place for our volunteers. The main one is to make sure that students are safe in the acquisition of a background check. This summer, we have made a few changes that we hope make the process of doing a background check more streamlined for everyone. So let's look at how you can become a volunteer for Hardin County Schools. Kentucky law and Hardin County Board of Education policy defines a volunteer as anyone who has contact with students on either a regularly scheduled or continuing basis or has supervisory responsibility for children at a school site or on school sponsored trips. The individuals that meet these criteria must complete a background check administered by Hardin County Schools. All volunteers will fill out a background check on the district website. And that website is www.harden.kyschools.us. To find the link to the volunteer page, either click on Parents or Quick Links. Here is a screenshot of our district website. So here we have clicked on Parents, and at the bottom of the Parents tab is Volunteer for Hardin County Schools. As you can see, all of those choices are in alphabetical order, and Volunteer for Hardin County Schools is at the bottom of that selection. Or you can choose the Quick Links tab. That is over on the right hand side of our webpage. Also at the bottom of the Quick Links selection is Volunteer for Hardin County Schools. After you have clicked on that link, go to Link to Volunteer Background Check. That's over on the right hand side of the page under Additional Information. If you read what is under Volunteer for Hardin County Schools, you see the definition of a volunteer and some instructions on becoming a volunteer. After you click on link to volunteer background check, you will go to the same website that those who choose to apply for a paying job with Hardin County Schools use. When you go to that website, click job listings. After you click job listings, you'll see a yellow search bar. Here it is encircled by a green oval. In that green oval, type the word volunteer, and then you will see a position come up called volunteer. After you have clicked volunteer, click on the create new account and apply selection in this green oval here. At that point, you will be given prompts. You will be asked for your name, your social security number. You will also be asked to create a username and password for this site. Follow all the prompts and give all the information that is required for Hardin County Schools to process your volunteer background check with the Administrative Office of the Courts. New volunteers, and we define new as anyone who has not been an approved HCS volunteer at any time since 2011, so new is defined as those who fit the criteria that is bold and underscored here, Volunteers, the new volunteers, must pay $10 to cover the cost of the background check. The payment of $10 is straight to the Administrative Office of the Courts. However, if you write a check, write the check to Hardin County Schools. Hardin County Schools is making no money off of the background check, uh, off the $10. That $10 will be sent straight to the Administrative Office of the Courts, and that is what the AOC charges all school districts in Kentucky to perform background checks. The superintendent's office is the department within our district that is responsible for sending the required information to the administrative office of the courts in Frankfurt. The background check will not be processed until the superintendent's office has received the $10 for the background check or a copy of the receipt issued by the school. Again, this is for new volunteers only, and new volunteers are, is anyone that has not been an approved volunteer since 2011. 
all volunteers will be required to complete the online background check form through the district website each school year. Now that is no matter when the volunteer started volunteering for the school district. So if you've started volunteering back in 2003, we are asking that each school year that you go to the district website and follow those procedures on filling out the uh, volunteer application. By using the online form, the volunteer will be asked to choose at what schools that they would like to volunteer. However, a volunteer is a district volunteer. Just because someone did not check a particular school on their form does not mean they cannot volunteer there. For example, if you have a child at Radcliffe Elementary School and then you enroll another child at North Middle School, you can still volunteer at North Middle School even though you did not check that when you filled out the initial form. Any paper forms published and formally used as volunteer background check forms will not be accepted. So if you have an old form or if, uh, even if a school gives you a paper form to fill out as a volunteer background check, that will not be accepted and you will not be able to volunteer. We hope that this answers any questions that you may have about becoming a volunteer and going through the process. Remember, we are asking all volunteers, all volunteers, both ones that have worked with our students in the past and any new volunteers to follow these procedures. The only difference is that if you have been an approved volunteer anytime since 2011, you do not have to pay the $10 for the background check. Those that will pay the $10 fee for the background check this year should not have to pay it as long as they volunteer for our district. If you have questions, please feel free to give me a call at 270-769-8867. That's 270-769-8867 or you could email me at john, that's j-o-h-n, dot right, w-r-i-g-h-t, at harden dot schools dot u-s. Information is also available on the district website, and that website is www.harden dot schools dot u-s. Again, we truly appreciate our volunteers. We thank you for what you do for our students because you help them succeed every day, both in and out of the classroom.